need to build it. built now we have to uh, swap them out <laughs> so you might ask why are we getting a new anchor the anchor we have is a really good anchor it's 122 pound rock nut anchor that's a lot it's, I looked it up it's actually four sizes bigger than required for even 50 up to 50 knot winds on this boat it's a big big anchor now we don't hate it, we actually like it a lot. Whenever we drop it, we know we're safe. But the problem is it's really hard to pick up, especially if it's got mud on it. It's pretty much impossible for Jessica to get it herself. Our windlass isn't strong enough to pick it up over the 90 degree angle. There's a couple solutions to that. One solution would be to make it not a 90 degree angle, make it a 45 degree angle. That would help, but again, we still have a anchor that's four sizes bigger than needed on the front, which adds weight on the bow. I'll show you what, what we have to do right now when picking up the anchor. That's the max that the windlass will do. So I always have to reach down with the bow hook and help the windlass. Now this hasn't really been a huge problem for us, but um, it can be kind of tricky when the seas are bouncing around or it's wet or something like that. So this new anchor is meant to hold us in easily up to 50 knot winds and uh, it's half the weight. So we're gonna try it out. All right, I'm gonna pull up the anchor. So, wait, we're gonna see if it can come up by itself. There you go. That's all and good for that part, but uh, now comes the practical test portion where we're gonna run down and use it in the ICW, in South Carolina and Georgia, Florida and the sand and stuff like that. So we're actually gonna put it to use. So this, so far this hasn't really been a review of the anchor, more just less our experience putting it on. And I guess review wise it pulls up fine, but it's because it's the right size for windless. So, but thanks to Mantis for sending us over and uh, we'll uh, let you guys know how it worked. Okay, so it's been a while since we actually filmed the beginning of this video, and we've had the opportunity now, I think it's been a couple months, we are in Key West, Florida. We've anchored out a number of times with this anchor, so I might as well throw this in, that our very first time actually anchoring out with this new Mantis anchor, uh, we kind of put it through a torture test. We were in the ICW near uh, Beaufort, South Carolina, and the wind was coming across uh, perpendicular to the, the way the current flows every six hours. So basically, if you know catamarans, we were dancing all around the anchor all night long. Uh, this, it was about 20 feet deep in that particular spot of ICW, which is really deep. And yeah, our, uh, our path that night looks like a spaghetti mess. I'll post it on the screen here. Um, but all things said, we actually didn't drag outside of our radius. Um, so that's really good. So that means that the anchor must have been unsetting and resetting given all the different angles we were going very quickly. Um, and it worked well. The only caveat I have with regard to this new anchor is that with the old anchor we could short scope, uh, meaning we put out too little line. For the scenario a lot of times we need to put out 4 to 1 and be fine. Um, but with the new anchor you really need to put out 5 to 1 minimally or if you have room to do it put out 7 to 1. Uh, we did drag once but we were short scoped at around 3.5 to 4 to 1. Uh, so that was just kind of a bad habit we got into with the other anchor. So nothing really against the Mantis anchor. It does its job really really well and I think we're gonna stick with it as our primary anchor from here on out. Um, yep. 
that's all I got to say about that. Thanks, Mantis, for sending it over. And, Thank uh, you. Here's our director over here. <laughs> and cut. <laughs>